Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday, I posted a video letting you know that Microsoft Edge could be getting its own photo viewer. And that's because, as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, Microsoft was testing a new Edge photo feature in Edge Canary version 116, which at the end of the day, um, when it does become available, and if it does become available, may bring its own editing options, photo viewing options, image editing image viewing options and so on now until that does happen and if it does happen um, just to let you know that if you're actually wanting to edit images uh, in edge that edge does come with its own built-in image editor feature which means you can make a basic edit to images within the actual edge web browser for desktop before you download them to your hard drive or local drive and as many of you may know a lot of users just download an image directly but um, you can actually edit those images in case you are unaware now um the feature is designed to make basic light edits to images. So if you're looking to make more kind of professional or impressive or extensive edits to any image, um, then obviously you wouldn't use this basic image editor in Edge. You would then um, need to use a third-party software to get the job done, so to speak. So if you want to know how you can edit those images um, using Microsoft Edge's built-in editor, and then just a quick video to show you how and you can follow the steps in this video for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 if you are using the Edge web browser. So to edit an image, first of all, let's just head over to an image. And then what you do once you've located your desired image, you just right click on that image and in the right click context menu, yeah, you'll see an option called edit image. Click on that and this opens up the built in uh image editor in the browser now as mentioned it's a basic image editor and um, i'm just going to do a very basic edit on this image just to demonstrate for the purpose of today's video so yeah obviously first of all we can crop the image and you can see it actually gives you the size of that image when you crop it you can make uh, adjustments so as an example i'm going to decrease the brightness and i'm going to decrease the exposure and by the way, you can actually reset. So you can go back. There you go. You can actually reset any of the options in case you want to just redo a certain um, edit. So I'm going to decrease that exposure and I'm going to increase the contrast. There we go. So that's my adjustments. And then I'm going to filter this image. So I'm going to put a warm contrast filter over that image. And then um, you can do a markup. And here to the left-hand side, we get our different... Uh, pens and pencils and so on that we can do a markup with so I'm just going to use the yellow highlighter and I'm just going to draw a circle around the actual edge logo and if you want to save that to your local drive you just head up to the top left click on save and then you save that to your drive or you can copy that image or that edit to a clipboard so that's just a very simple way how you can actually edit a uh, those images using Edge's built-in image editor in case you're unaware. And um, currently this is available in the stable version and obviously the preview versions. And currently the stable version is on Edge version 114, as many of you would know. And go check out that other video um, because it will um, give you a little bit more info as to a possible uh, photo viewer that could be coming to the Edge browser in the future. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.